Hello, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my first um, message to you guys in my first video and welcome to August. We're in full blown summer here. So let's get straight to the point. As creatives, how often do we find ourselves in client meetings, in design crits, while we're not really completely engaged? Whether it's because maybe we think we already know for example, what the client is going to say, it's an assumption. Uh, our minds is preoccupied with, are preoccupied with the next meeting or honestly, we're just thinking about lunch because <laughs> we're hungry. <laughs> well, regardless, it's time to really acknowledge the truth. Before going to coaching, to my coaching program, through my coaching program, I consider myself an excellent listener. I took notes. I paid good amount of attention. I didn't interrupt my the person that was in front of me. And however, I really was surprised to learn that I was only passively hearing the speaker message. True listening requires an active engagement and the use of all your senses. So here are simple five. Uh, ways for you to be practicing active listening in your work. Number one, be intentionally present. So try to eliminate any kind of noise or triggering for not paying attention. Put away your phone. Don't talk to your roommate and don't listen to your husband who's trying to talk to you about dinner. Especially as we're working from home, that's really important. Two, ask empowering questions. Be curious. Use open-ended question that starts with how, why, when, to encourage a really deeper discussion. For example, don't say, uh, do you think that the um, colors on option one ladder up to the brand personality? Say instead, how do you think the logo colors in option one ladder up to the brand personality? Three, observe nonverbal cues. Pay attention to the body language, to the facial expression, to what their pitch and tone are, because you can gain insights in what others are really thinking. Sometimes we say this, but our body is saying something else. And again, working remotely can make this a real challenge. I know that we're a little bit on the Zoom fatigue and we don't want that camera on and we don't want to engage, but really let's learn to reintroduce face-to-face -face communication. Encourage your team and your clients to turn their camera on to make most of their meetings. Number four, clarify. Sometimes we don't understand what is being said to us. Don't hes hesitate to ask for clarification. Just raise your hand and say, I'm sorry to interrupt. Can you please tell me more about X? Five, summarize. Summarize the main points of the message that you received. So you're ensuring a full understanding. And also you're giving, you know, the speaker the possibility to correct if you misunderstood something. In conclusion, active listening is essential for effective communication. And I do believe that active listeners, listening fosters openness, honesty, and success. By showing our peer, our managers, our clients, that you really genuinely are hearing them, you can build trust and set yourself up for success in your daily projects and relationship. Why don't you give it a try? Ciao for now.